wipe everything down, you know, get, get, you know, get the tie. Yes. Because, uh, you know, we have, uh, we have local royalty on and you want, you want to get everything straight. Joining us right now, the, the great mayor of uh, your city of Sacramento, our city of Sacramento, Mr. Daryl Steinberg. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. What's up, Dave and Jason? Pretty exciting time. Uh, Incredible. I, that's one way to put it. Uh, <laughs> it is exciting. It is stressful. Uh, I know you're a diehard sports fan and a diehard Kings fan. Uh, it is simultaneously, I think, uh, stressful and uh, a very enjoyable, especially when we win. I mean, these are the these are the moments we live for. And I, I was at game two, and I still am having a hard time getting back my full voice, especially after Draymond's incident. I mean. Man, I'll tell you, the Kings look like the tougher team. The Warriors look unhappy. And I know that, you know, tonight is a new night, a new game. But I just I just love what I see in terms of the energy uh, of our team. And, of course, it's the energy in the building. And you know how many people came downtown on Saturday night? 95,000 people. Wow on Saturday night, according to the downtown partnership. And man, that says everything about what's going on. For sure. How are your ears? I heard a lot of people complaining in a good way about ears ringing and still uh, still feeling the noise after either Saturday or Monday's game. What did you say? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, my ears are my, my ears are fine. But I, I also wanted to share with you guys one historic fact that has not been reported. And this comes from my friend, Steve Croner, who is a, uh, my old buddy from grammar school who write, is a Chronicle sports writer. He wrote the following. He said, um, the Kings have not lost a single playoff game since Daryl Steinberg became mayor of Sacramento. Wow. Yeah, there you go. That's why we voted for you. Facts. Uh, yeah. Daryl Steinberg joins. Uh, you know, I, I, you're, you're going to know what I'm talking about here. I said this. Uh, it was after game one. Somebody, it was actually the Kings Herald blog, took a, a video above Doko and and just kind of panned it slowly to the right. You may have seen the video, and it was just flooded with people after game one. I said, you know, I think they had released them, but when when they gave us the, the mock-ups, Mr. Mayor, of, of the arena when they were still trying to figure out who was going to build it and get everything set up, they computer-generated fans in that area – and it didn't even look in the mock-ups as crazy and packed as it looked in reality after games one and two. Well, you know, when you look back to, again, we've talked before about how this arena came together. When it came to the building itself, they thought of everything. Vivek and all the other people who were involved in this thing, they thought of everything. And it's, you know... you. I remember the old Arco Arena, of course. We never thought it could be louder um, or could be more kind of intimate in terms of people being packed together. Jeez, I mean, what what we built, what they built um, to give us this experience is just something that's going to benefit Sacramento for many decades to come. Well, then even experience like tonight, you've got, I'm sure Kings fans will make the drive that are fortunate enough to have tickets, but then others are going downtown to watch the game in the arena anyway. And the outside atmosphere at Doco tonight with a viewing party, I feel like will be just as electric as the, the games that were at home. It will be. I mean, I don't know whether they will sell out the arena tonight, but I wouldn't be surprised if if, uh, if we did because, you know, you know what? We talk about this a lot. Sports is a communal experience. This is why people are so excited. You know, people want to be together. They want to have fun together. They want to experience good and great things together. And that's what sports does. You know, I, I, I say often that as much as I like to, like uh, Monday night, I love the game. Of course, I was with my son and my nephew. And, you know, we just had the time of our life. But I love it even more before the game. And after the game, inside the arena and outside the arena, because that's where you just see people being happy. And, you know, when 95,000 people are in our downtown, um, our, our great downtown that's had its share of, of challenges, man, 
There, I've never, I had not had a better night as mayor of Sacramento in six and a half years than Monday night. That was the, that was the most fun and the greatest feeling I, I, I have had. And yeah, there are more important things in life. I get it. I get it. But man, that, that is something to put into, uh, you know, to, to just remember and to continue to just enjoy. Mayor Daryl Steinberg with us. I want to switch gears real quick because it's in the news today. I know we uh, we we came here to talk Kings, but I I, I wanted to ask you because I know you've kept your eye on it. Uh, you know, with everything the Kings went through, no one needs to tell you, me, or anyone else listening that you you want to keep teams in the cities that 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 they're at for the fans. Uh, it, it looks as of last night that the A's and the city of Oakland have completely disengaged the A's announced today they have made a binding there's a word we're familiar with binding <laughs> agreement for 49 acres in Vegas and I, I just wanted to visit with you real quick just because you you're getting these questions we're getting these questions so Daryl what what is preventing us from taking a real swing uh at the A's especially with everything with the Kings so ridiculously successful on all fronts uh you know you know you know more people than i do but you know we all we all know a couple of couple of folks is is there anything is there any there there well of course i want to say this because you know uh, of course we would love major league baseball but i feel really badly for the people of oakland same and, you know, and I'm sorry, you know, the, the, they may be, we're, we're fighting the Golden State Warriors, you know, but I feel bad for the people of Oakland because they don't deserve to lose the A's. That, that, that team, you know, that fan base has been loyal to, maybe in a different way, but um, I, I don't like what's going on. I don't like the way this guy, Dave Caval, has played the community. I don't even know the guy, but I don't like it. Um, you know, as a mayor, I... I I just, it makes me kind of angry on behalf of the people of Oakland. You know, I've had many conversations with uh, people, as you say, including people in authority that said, if, because I didn't want to step on Oakland right. in any way, but if in fact they were gone, going to Las Vegas and Oakland was absolutely out, um, you know, would you think about considering, would you consider Sacramento as an alternative? So I planted that seed. Of course I did. But not in a way that would uh, ever prejudice or jeopardize Oakland, because that's just not fair. I mean, we've had it done to us, and, and you know, right is right. Um, and, and I don't think we should be ever doing it to anyone else. And we, well, we didn't, and we haven't. But uh, the Las Vegas thing is, you know, of course, all about money. It's all of Las Vegas. But, you know, Oakland is a great sports town just like Sacramento. And I just plain feel bad for the, for the people of Oakland. And, you know, it's never, never done until it's, it's never over till it's over. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I appropriately planted seeds over, over the course of time, but never in a way that uh, tried to go around Oakland or, or would jeopardize Oakland's chance to keep the team. And maybe that's not what our fans want to hear. Uh, I know I'm mayor of Sacramento, but I also think, yeah, you know, you always act with integrity and, you know, do unto others as, as you want others to do unto you. So if that time ever came where you felt comfortable in that, any chances that those seeds could grow here? I don't know. I mean, they have signed now, as I read this morning, as you read, mm -hmm. a – uh, 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 an agreement to actually purchase land in Las Vegas for a stadium site. So I don't know. Um, I mean, we'll continue to be in contact with the right people and to keep our eyes on it. But I, I don't want to set unreasonable expectations here. Sure. It's delicate. If this yep. were, it's just a delicate situation because it, it's, it's not it's not right for us to step on Oakland. It's not right. Yeah, agreed. Yep. And 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 you and I speak that we all speak that exact same language. I, I number one, number two, and, and number one through one hundred choice is to is to stay in Oakland. Uh, uh, but I would imagine A's fans, if they had a vote, if the team is for sure positively one hundred percent relocating to Las Vegas, they'd rather have it in you know Sa Sa Sacramento, San Jose, wherever, than make that move. I'll just leave it broadly here, Mister Mayor. 
not only do you have a, a you know with with the A's potentially leaving something to look at there, and I'm using the Royal U. Uh, but you also have Major League Baseball expansion coming up. And I see Salt Lake City and uh, Charlotte, Montreal, um, Nashville, a number of these – Portland, a number of these cities that – and no, no disrespect to them, but I look at Sacramento and I go, hold on a second. We're as big, if not bigger, of a market than all of these. And here's a secret about you. You're a baseball fan first and foremost at heart. I know you are. I, I, this is a baseball town as well as a basketball town. So I would just ask you this. In your opinion, is Sacramento as, if not in some cases, more equipped to support Major League Baseball than some of these other cities being considered? Now you're talking, Dave. Hmm. Uh, now you're absolutely talking because um, you're darn right. We, we would compete and can compete with any of those other cities. And you know that Sacramento would support Major League Baseball uh, in, in a big way. We've got the nighttime weather for it during the summer. I mean, it would be a perfect fit. And so, you know, our story is just beginning to be told. It really is. And, you know, the Kings, once again, the success has had made people across the nation, the national press, focus on the strengths of this city and this region. And what an incredible fan base we have for the Kings, uh, for the Republic, uh, for anything that that is fun around sports, around art, culture, theater, you name it. And so if those expansion talks continue and elevate, we ought to be right at the front of the line. And again, um, I, I'm, I've not just, I never sit on my hands on behalf of the city. Watch this Oakland, Las Vegas thing very, very uh, carefully and closely have had a number of conversations mm -hmm. and Major League Baseball knows um, that we are very interested in adding to the number of Major League teams we have in this city. All right, listen, awesome. always pleasure visiting with you. We are way late for a break, but that's because we love talking to you. Game three tonight, I know the mayor will be right there watching with the rest of us. Appreciate your time, sir. We'll talk to you soon. Go Kings. Bye, guys. Thanks Bye, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Go Bye. Kings. All right, we will take a break. When we come back, we're going to visit with Channel 3, our content wow. partners over.